Welcome to Psych Insight, your one-stop destination for all things related to psychology. Today, we're delving into a topic that's been stirring conversations worldwide, the societal pressures and judgments faced by pregnant women. We're looking at this issue through the lens of a real-life example, the story of Yoda Kuzukas. Yoda, an expectant mother, faced a wave of backlash over her small baby bump, a situation that starkly illuminates the unseen pressures on pregnant women. We'll be examining the psychology behind this backlash, understanding body shaming and unveiling the backlash that followed. So let's dive deeper into this issue and shed some light on the invisible burdens often shouldered by women. Stay tuned as we unravel the complexities of this societal issue. Why do we, as a society, demand a certain look from pregnant women? The question hangs in the air, a poignant reminder of the pressures that expectant mothers face. Pregnant bodies become public spectacles, subject to scrutiny, and often, a target of criticism. This is a conversation about the invisible burden shouldered by women, a narrative that revolves around Yota Kuzukas, an expectant mother who didn't fit the traditional mold. Yota, with her small baby bump, defied societal expectations of what pregnant women should look like. Her journey was marked not by shared joy, but by a disconcerting backlash. The internet, a breeding ground for unsolicited opinions, was quick to question her health and even her pregnancy. This was not a solitary incident, but a reflection of a deeper societal issue, the entitlement to judge a woman's pregnancy. But why does this happen? Why do people feel entitled to judge a woman's pregnancy? To understand the backlash, we first need to understand the psychology behind body shaming. Body shaming is a deeply rooted societal issue that involves criticizing one's own or another's physical appearance. It's a form of psychological bullying, which often has its roots in the shamer's own insecurities, biases, and need for social acceptance. The media plays a significant role in promoting certain body images. We constantly see images of ideal bodies on TV, in magazines, and on social media. These images are often airbrushed or digitally altered, creating unrealistic standards of beauty. This constant exposure can lead to a distorted perception of body image, making us more likely to judge ourselves and others harshly based on appearance. Now let's talk about narcissism. Narcissism is a personality trait characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy for others, and a need for excessive attention and admiration. Narcissists often project their insecurities onto others as a way to boost their own self-esteem. So how does narcissism contribute to body shaming? Well, narcissists often use body shaming as a tool to assert dominance and control over others. They feel threatened by those who don't conform to their ideals and react by criticizing and belittling them. This behavior not only helps them maintain a sense of superiority, but also diverts attention away from their own perceived flaws. In essence, body shaming is a complex issue that stems from a combination of societal pressures, personal insecurities, and narcissistic tendencies. It's not just about the physical body, but also about power dynamics, control, and a deeply ingrained desire to fit in with societal norms. But how does this apply to pregnant women specifically? Let's dive deeper. Now, let's examine the backlash against Kuzukas more closely. The story of Yota Kuzukas, an Australian businesswoman and expectant mother, and her smaller-than-average baby bump, became a hotbed for controversy. Criticism and judgment came pouring in from every corner of the internet, with people scrutinizing her body and questioning her health and that of her unborn child. The backlash was not rooted in concern, but rather, it was steeped in societal expectations and narcissism. You see, society has a preconceived notion of how a pregnant woman should look. When Kuzukas did not fit into this mold, people felt entitled to voice their opinions, to question her journey, and to impose their expectations onto her. But let's dig deeper into the role of narcissism in this backlash. Narcissism, characterized by self-centeredness and a lack of empathy, often drives people to believe their opinions are of utmost importance, even when it comes to the personal lives of others. It's an inflated sense of self-importance that propels them to pass judgment without considering the feelings or circumstances of the person on the receiving end. In Kazukas's case, this narcissistic behavior was amplified by the anonymity of the internet where people felt emboldened to express their unsolicited opinions without any real-world consequences. It's a disturbing trend that exposes the darker side of our digital age. But it wasn't just anonymous internet users who contributed to the backlash. Even well-intentioned friends and family can unknowingly perpetuate these harmful societal expectations. 
By commenting on a woman's body during pregnancy, even in a seemingly positive way, they add to the pressure and scrutiny that pregnant women face. Such backlash brings to light the unseen pressure on pregnant women. It's a stark reminder of the need for empathy, understanding, and respect for each individual's unique journey. Because at the end of the day, every pregnancy is different, and there's no one-size-fits-all mold for how a pregnant woman should look or feel. So, what does this all mean? We've journeyed through the unseen pressures that pregnant women face, delving into the societal expectations that are imposed on them. We've explored the psychology behind body shaming, unveiling the narcissistic undertones that fuel these harmful behaviors. We've scrutinized the specific case of Yoda Kuzukas, a woman who faced undue criticism for having a small baby bump. Her experience is a prime example of the damaging effects that these societal pressures can have, reinforcing an unrealistic and narrow standard of what pregnancy should look like. In essence, these issues boil down to one key point. The body of a pregnant woman should never be subject to public scrutiny or judgment. Pregnancy is a deeply personal and unique journey, and it's high time we celebrate these differences instead of condemning them. The body of a pregnant woman is not a public domain, and it's time society understood that.